find it kind of funny. I find it kind of sad. Dreams in which I'm dying are the best I've ever had. He's gonna be fine. He's gonna be fine. Everything's fine. Hi. Who? Oh, it's that guy. Why, hello! <laughs> I didn't know anyone was alive out here. <laughs> I know what you're thinking, but I'm not a burglar. I'm just crashing in an abandoned house for a while. Don't worry, I won't cause any trouble. We survivors need to look out for each other. Uh, for your information, I didn't steal this. I... was not expecting his mouth to open. <laughs> I, I'm like, okay, he's covered in rags. That's normal. He'll just talk from within the rags. They'll save on animation. Or even, or maybe his chin will wobble from inside the rags. But he has a mouth hole, and it's strangely distressing. <laughs> what you got? Stuff. So that's how you reload your arm. Let's see. Gemini is iron protection. Protects oh protects current ergo even in death temporarily. How long? Food for the cricket puppet that help, that receives help from from Jiminy. The cricket puppet. Is there a cricket puppet inside my lantern that's controlled by Jiminy but is not Jiminy? When used, death. Ergo, will temporarily be maintained in case of death. What? God, what a... These terms are insane. <laughs> death ergo. I guess they... I guess all... Maybe is all ergo death? The Gemini... The, the Gemini model was designed so that it could f be fed ergo to build affinity. However, no one could have imagined that this model had the another ability that was even more special. It's okay, pal. Gemini is looking out for you. Okay, uh, emergency protection. Temporarily protects death ergo when hit. Current ergo. Death. What? When used, when there is death ergo to. Re oh, okay, that makes sense. Death ergo is in the environment. That's when you die and you drop your. It's your blood stain. Got it. That's what death ergo is. It reduces the ergo loss from being hit. Huh. The Gemini model was designed so they could feed Ergo to bit in it. Okay. Okay, I guess part of the problem is that there's mechanics I don't understand yet, so they're talking about the mechanics I don't know about yet. It sounds like here, <clears throat> when you die, your death your death ergo is probably where you died. It could be one of the games where it's a bloodstain, or it could be one of those games where it's on the enemy that killed you, because buff seen both. And it sounds like normally when you get hit in that state then you lose some of the ergo that, that's there to be reclaimed. So it, it, there's a penalty for the more you get hit on the way back to it. And this protects you from that. I don't know, this is still very confusingly phrased. I can't tell if they mean it'll stop you from dropping your ergo when you die, or if it means that if you die, It'll stop it from despawning your current death ergo, or something. It's very confusing. Uh, but my, for me, the most upsetting thing is it says temporarily. So like you already spent the resources to get this item, and then you spend the item, and then it just can run out, and then you still lose your ergo. Like that kind of bothers me. The Legion magazine. The terminology is wild in this game, so it just takes a while to unpack. Like, okay, the Legion magazine is what is what you use to refill the ammo of your mechanical arm. <laughs> of course. I think there's a uh, uh, meaning to, like, Legion being tied to puppets and so on, because I think the... I feel like the arc... The Pinocchio arc of... Uh, not Wolf Among Us, what's it called? Fables is itself called Legion or something. So I think that's like a, I think there's an ongoing terminology there that's a nod, piece of beyond just the normal meaning of the word. 
but it still is confu a little confusing to then get hit with Legion magazine. You have to sit there for a moment and like decode the series of terms that connect that to be. Oh, arm ammo. Okay. It's like when you find out that something is the ammo for your 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 ninja tools. Are they called ninja tools in Sekiro? <sighs> okay, let's go back. I don't want to warp back this often, but at the same time, they made it so I have to warp back to level up. And I, each time I find one of these, it's, it's like not a ton of experience, but it's at least enough to level up. So I might as well do it. Yeah, that guy made me inherently want to like mimic the voice of the the merchant in Demon Souls at the beginning of the game because I, I love I love his voice actor so much. He's very it's it's a very charmingly performed character. He's very entertaining, but he's got a very specific accent that I can't recreate, and I don't even remember the, the exact words he uses very clearly. So that impression is DOA. At least I'm on PC and I get those sweet PC loading times. It is kind of cool how the... The way that the shot is framed when you spawn each time kind of makes it look like you're looking at a loading screen and then appearing in the loading screen. Like, the, it's, the transition effect kind of has a... An, at least it works for me, like that's the impact it leaves on my brain is it, it makes it makes me look like I'm looking at a static image slash a specific scene and then I'm becoming part of that scene now now stop it Alrighty, that was not my most graceful. Hope this is the last time. Hi! Ah! I need to start doing it earlier. Except for all the times where, I'm do where I do it late. <laughs> Great! Great feedback. Nailed it. I don't know, with these guys I'm doing it too late, I think, to perfect parry. I assume you can perfect parry the charge. Feels like it might be one of those mechanics that's implemented relatively universally. Haha, uh -huh. I'm too good at video games. Bye. Ladder? That might be wishful. Huh? You sense something strange. Jeepers. Is that a butterfly? You stirred Why me. Why is the ergo reacting like that? If you want to check it out, I can take point. I could just fall off, or is this somebody else? Is he lying in ambush? There's something going on over here. Dimensional butterfly. Occasionally, dimensional butterfly will appear in parts of Krat. When that's lamp can detect the butterfly lighting up red upon its location. When the character is near, the, hit, the hiding butterfly will appear. After a certain amount of time, the butterfly will disappear into another dimension. Kill it to get useful materials. Oh. Thanks, Jiminy, for your great advice, where you didn't even slightly mention the idea of attacking it. I thought it was supposed to guide me somewhere. I didn't realize it was a crystal lizard. Warning, petrification, disease, quarantine, zone, no trespasses, everyone is a patient alluded to take. Do not speak to them. Well, I'm definitely going to speak to them. Don't worry, guys. I'm wearing a mask. So I can't get sick. Ha ha ha. Uh, this is where I need to point out, this is very important, uh, fursuits are not PPE. People, there's a lot of jokes at the beginning of COVID about like, I've been training for this my whole life. I'm like, the fursuit head doesn't count. The fursuit head very deliberately and specifically does have a mouth hole. <laughs> so you can breathe in it. 
mixed results. People have a bad time in those things. They get really uncomfortable, but uh, it literally does just have an open mouth on the front. <laughs> the jaw is actually an opening that leads to your real human mouth, and it does not have a filter between you and... Oh, don't fall off. The Nignes Crat, uh, Crot Landmark Guide 2. This month's attraction, Alchemist Bridge. The Alchemist Bridge is the bridge to Elysian Boulevard and the main way to the Crot City Hall. Like, every time I say that word, I triple, I triple check it and, like, get, really hesitate. The Holy Ouroboros, the mark of the Alchemist, is fittingly engraved into the building. This shows that the Alchemists are not just a powerful, privileged class, but have also donated tremendous amounts of money across the city. Thanks to the thriving culture of philanthropy in Krat, you can find areas with names of prominent figures. It's like the city's motto, the citizens are the owners of the city. The most widely known attraction is Rosa Isabel Street. It's named after the cultural sponsor, Lady Isabel Monad. But if you think about how the ladies married to the leader of the alchemists, Valentius, you'll think twice about who really is in control of Krat. The union of Krat's old families and the organization of alchemists is shown in this symbolic form. Given that the sacred Ouroboros mark is engraved on City Hall as well, it's obvious who owns the city of Krat. Rating 3 out of 5. Good place to learn about Krat's beginning and, and its essence. Reporter Mandoro. This guide was made with the support of the Venig Venigni company, but may not reflect the company's opinions. There's dogs down there. This looks like a staircase you would use, but I don't think you can. <laughs> I don't think there's actually an opening in any part of this that lets you inside. But I guess there's no item up there, so I, I guess it just is scaffolding? Huh. I backtracked in part because I wanted to check out this stuff. I guess there's nothing really going on here. Alright. Yeah, the, uh... The quarantine zone looks kind of important, so I feel like I'll go there next, but f I want to clear out those areas first. That's enough of you. Uh. I don't think it's an enemy, I think it's a bomb. Maybe throw a rock at it or something, but I don't think I want to hit it. Were they always, like, bronze-looking? So we've got, like, a golden sheen. The whole direction over here. About this gate. Oh, nope. Uh... I've got like three directions to keep to juggle in my brain right now, assuming I haven't forgotten other ones. Oh god. Okay, I hit it on accident, but it looks like it just creates a little lightning field for a little while. They're like temporary traps. Okay. Interesting. I guess here is where I'm forced to interact with one of these so I can get by. It's just in my way. So if I avoid them so far, they put this one in the way of an item so that I really sit here and go, like, maybe I should deal with this. Ah!
Yeah, it looks like things I could use to fight enemies if I lure them into them and hit them. So I can get it in and out, but the AI probably isn't smart enough to react to it. I say that like it's a like judgment call, but like, I mean like... They probably wouldn't make the AI react to it, because otherwise it'd be very difficult to use it as a trap, is what I mean. Speak of the Deval. How you feeling, buddy? Ow. Ow. Ah! I parried one attack and that was not that was not enough. He just did more hits. Ah! God, it's so fucking hard. I don't know how anyone gets, gets good at this. Like, their timings are so weird. Why can't I do it? Not even once? I'd say not even once, but I did do it once. Technically. Now I've wasted most of my health trying to do that. I'm gonna try to cheese him. So I'd rather not die. Nope, he got me. Alright. Well, I didn't need to die to him, I just did it to myself by trying to practice parrying, and just not even doing it at all. <laughs> just zero successes. I thought to then do, successfully parry the whole combo was wild to me. Alright, well, first death, self-inflicted. Nope. He... That guy's apparently pre-programmed to just attack straight. I thought he would attack me, so I was ready, ready. There we go, did one of those. Ladder here, too. On this side of the room. Right about the butterfly. Oh well. So my souls drop on the floor. The system we're doing here. That miss sucks. Really? That one's so slow. It's still too I'm still too early on that one. It's such a slow attack. Nope. God damn it. Trap I'm falling into is that I try to stop blocking to then try to deflect the next hit. 
But it's it's at that point you're already kind of fucked up from not not deflecting the previous attack correctly. That one's so fucking fast. All right, well, another another life more or less gone because I tried to practice. Fuck. I get so frustrated with deflection mechanics. I'm shocked how hard they are for me. It's weird. I wish we could play together. <laughs> Like we used to. Who is it? Is that you, Murphy? Oh, I guess not. Sorry, I, I thought you were my friend, Murphy. Murphy is a super cool police officer. <clears throat> As a puppet, even the petrification disease can't get him. I wish I was like him. <clears throat> You should leave so you don't catch the disease from me. If only we could play together like we used to. Murphy, I miss you. Oh. <laughs> what is this Resident Evil? Wait. Got him. Oh, oh. Oh, they take damage over time in that field. Oh. I think that other guy's health is just so big that he didn't look like he was taking any more damage. But I'm not sure. There we go. Refilled one. At least that mechanic's there. Yeah, I always find it a little odd that people will be like, Oh, you're, you, you have, oh, 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 I thought I broke it and that it wasn't going to go off. I was very wrong. Workshop Union Standard Insulated Insulation Converter. Might be an anti-electricity one. So my weight goes up, but I gain resistance to everything? The biggest one being electricity goes up by five. Everything goes up a bit. I go by gain like one extra pound. So I'm once again a little heavier. I don't know if there is. I don't know if there's like explicitly a fat roll ever. Anyway, maybe I'll go back to my body, or go, maybe I'll go back to the the bonfire, since this I think downstairs is a dead end and the butterfly is the way forward. I don't really lose any progress by regenerating. I was, the thought I kept trying to get to, but I, then stuff kept happening, was that uh, when people see how bad I am at pairing, they're like, aren't you good at rhythm games? And I'm like, yeah. I know both these things feature the word timing, but that doesn't mean they're related skills. Comparison never made any sense to me. Rhythm games have a rhythm. Enemies do not have a rhythm. A rhythm is a repeating, regular beat. They kind of just attack whenever the fuck they feel like, honestly. Ah! This weapon does frustrate me when the follow-up attacks don't connect. It's like, well then what's the point? Got him. Ooh, that is an upgrade item. That's a big deal. I always find the comparison strange. The fact that the enemy refuses to attack at any particular pattern that makes sense is the problem. <laughs> Not only does like each attack has a consistent timing, but you don't know what attack they're going to do each time, and you have to you have to react on the fly when they could do the really fast attack or the really slow attack. It's 
That's not a very long range one. Oh, that wasn't a heavy, that, that wasn't a stagger. I guess it didn't flash. None of that connected shit. Ah. There we go. I got a stagger. That feels better than all the times I don't get a stagger. Uh, Krat, Krat, police baton head. Let's see, where's the damage? Yeah, so 170, 130. It's much weaker. Fable charge. I'm not sure if it has much in the way of upsides, but here it is. It seems slow, weaker, and shorter range. And also, somewhat upsettingly, it affects your weight when it's in your offhand, so you, there's a there's a hot swap weapons mechanic in this game, but you're equipping both of them at the same time at all times if you do that, and so you have to and you you take a weight penalty from that, which seems a little ill-advised. I feel like a lot of people are gonna then just never use a second weapon at the same time because equipping the second one would affect your weight. This must be your first time in the petrification disease quarantine zone. For most people, this is their last stop. You are a good Samaritan for coming all the way here. Time one. May I ask you a favor? My family took my baby from me and sent me here. They said it was for my own good, but it was heartless just the same. A baby must be with its mother. Please go to Quart City Hall and bring me my baby. Thank you so much, kind one. I can finally see my sweet Elena's face again. Please hurry. Heart scales spreading across my eyes. Before I lose my sight, please. She said the baby was at City Hall. Should we check it out? I hope everybody's safe. Jiminy, you don't have any input on that? It's a horrible idea to bring her her baby. She's in quarantine from a, a terminal illness that petrifies you, and it's definitely happening to her. It's not like she hypothetically might have it. I just kind of passively said yes instead of saying no, but like, I don't think I, I don't think I'll do it. It itches. Peel the skin and there's blue blood. 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 Pretty cocoon. Blue angel. Joyful appetite. Blue death. 
What a feast. Death, death, and death. I'm alive. It itches. I was wondering, I was, I was waiting for it to be a reference to Itchy Scratchy. No, Itchy. Itchy. Tasty. Itchy Scratchy is Simpsons. I meant Resident Evil. Bork, bork. Figure out how to play this game. Okay. Vitrification, do I yeah, do not speak. Oh, we're on the other side of this. But here's a shortcut if I go downstairs. Oh yeah, this these guys. Yeah. Across the board, they're kind of, they're, they're relatively small uh, uh, shortcuts. Hi, uh... Hmm... Scary elevator? I don't have. Nope. The Alchemist Bridge. Why is that body dancing? Purge. Puppets. Okay. I was like, why does it say purge puppies? What did they do? I don't understand. Who's messaging me? Stop messaging me. Okay, there we go. Well, that's distinct. All puppets will be destroyed. There's something kind of goofily uh, Bioshock about moments like that. Just the bodies with signs and so on that are like... It'd be upsetting in real life, but in a, in a video game, they're so consistently grim dark that they're they're a little goofy. What happened the first time I pressed something? I don't know. Huh. Hey, I'm back. Well, then now all those other shortcuts are dead to me. Huh. On some level, the sheer number of shortcuts here are a little interesting because they, they encourage you to, like, keep thinking about where you are, and so they kind of keep helping you understand what's happening space-wise in a kind of neat way. But I don't imagine being able to use most of them because they're so close together that like when would they come up? It can be very odd to have a shortcut every five feet. To the point where we're like, oh. This you open this door that leads you back to the downstairs part of the un part under the ladder. So it's like a, shy, a slight shortcut, so you don't have to go through the red butterfly building again. But five feet later, there's just a door that goes... That's just an elevator that takes you all the way back to the, the, the warp point. So what is that other shortcut for? I guess on some level, if you just have an understanding of the space of the environment, you can then, like, more smoothly navigate to whatever specific spot you want to go to, because there's just a, it's all connected and open now. But I don't know why you'd want to backtrack to a lot of these areas. Maybe just to meet certain characters. 
Oh, this is a little bit of a treacherous spot. I did a good parry. You weren't paying attention. That's not good. Wow, three in a row. I haven't been hit yet. I parried a dog. What does it even mean? I think I've used up all the loose end paths. What I've done forgotten now. mad at Geppetto because of the per the puppet problem. They're seeing it as him. Oh, oh, we're gonna bring the. You know what caused <gasps> the puppet frenzy, don't you? You're their maker, practically their father. You and the alchemist scheming together. Tell me the truth. What's your problem? I'm here for the old man. Get lost. Wait, I know you. Or more like I know what you are. You're the devil's puppet. You can't sneak past me. Die! Oh, he's got a big sword. The mad donkey. Okay. Oh, he's got a health bar. Okay. Woohoo! Like, I. The, it, oh, God, you can't pause. But the. Uh, okay. We'll talk later. Oh, I didn't think you were going to reach that. Dodge rolling. Dream or a nightmare. Stop showing up. God damn it, his timings are pissing me off. It's so slow and then so fast. It's just a lack of rhythm of any kind. It's so frustrating. It's like, oh right, the donkeys in Pinocchio. I get it. That's probably why there's a dog head. There's like animal heads, because yeah, you turn into a they turn into donkeys. After all, I should take responsibility as their maker. But in order for me to do that, I need to take care of the puppets at City Hall. Won't you help me, son? Take this. You'll find it most useful. 
Mad donkey set. Enigma assembly tool. That's just, it's, they spam you with so much information, including entire descriptions, but they don't let you read any of it, because it goes so fast. It's just odd. You just have a donkey head. I don't like it as much, but it's there. The mask worn by the mad donkey is the mask of, of one blindly seeking the truth. The madman wanted to find the real truth. Blinded by his stubbornness, he failed to see the approach of death. Hmm. Mad donkey's hunting apparel. I do like the color of this, though. It just works. I am so amused by how the dog mask looks during cutscenes. Radiant Ergo, 500. Okay. The parade leader had an Ergo, but the mad donkey did not. What did I get that was new? I have a lot of hidden moonstones. I need to upgrade my weapon then. Enigma assembly tool. Tool that can assemble and disassemble a weapon's blade and handle. The weapons assemble... The wep weapon assemble is available through stargazers and U U Eugenie. Eugenie. That, that, that name's gonna be tough for me. When dealing with a non-human enemy, it was necessary to do away with a common sense. With common sense, the workshop and stalkers assembled various blades and handles, focusing on making the greatest weapons. But their idea of greatest weapons is just to mix the hilts and uh, weapons of things, which is funny. So we got the key to City Hall. I want to hear all about your experiences, but now isn't a good time. Use the stalker's key to open the bridge door. Then, get rid of the frenzied puppets that have seized City Hall. We'll catch up at Hotel Croc when you're done. This is the most Dark Souls thing about this entire game. The too many dead horses everywhere. Do 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 do. That guy was pretty aggro, but he was also like shockingly low damage. He did way less damage than most of the enemies I fought on the way here to get the just to get here. That was a bit of a surprise, but he had a big health bar to chew through, so. Sometimes that's how you make boss fights even reasonable. Sometimes it's they actually paradox paradoxically do less damage because you're doing a big progressing fight. So about that weapon assembly tool you were talking about. If you find any more weapons, let's try using them here. Weapon? Assemble! Assemble weapons through Eugenie at the hotel or at Stargaze in different areas. Separate your weapons into blade and handle and assemble them to new weapons that match your character's battle style. The weapon's features are decided by the handle and the blade combo. This one has better weight. But less stab, I think? I'm not sure. I did it wrong, I guess. That's weird. That's weird. So 
So the hilt is the move set of the weapon. So he's currently swinging it like a club, but it has the damage and so on that this thing has. That's exceptionally strange. I might even like it more. Just because it might look like it looks like it might more consistently reach my enemy than the other one was, but we'll see. I'll give it a go. For now, I just want to go upgrade the uh, blade itself. I've stocked up some of these and didn't keep track. Nope, need one more this time. I know my way around a weapon. I'll use my power. I'm a little amused, but like, they're, they're like, they don't really have like, this is my sassy personality trait, or here's me chanting something, or some kind of like textured lore thing or character beat. It's just like, yes, I do the thing. I am the blacksmith. I am the leveling character. I will do, use my power to do the thing. And they just say that every time. I'm like, all right, well, this is kind of unnecessary. <laughs> if they're just going to say the obvious thing and it's not really adding much to the texture, then they might as well just not be a thing where I have to talk to somebody every time. Hi, everybody. Nope, did not get to, did not manage to get one of them at a time. Oh, there's a third one though. That's something to worry about. Ow. Ah. It is kind of just a nice, big, overhead swing. I've got one more heal now. Ah! I was not expecting him to turn around. Yeah, I don't know. This might be a more reliable swing than I had before. It just looks really stiff and weird. I don't love the look of it, but it might be better than what I was doing before. Ow. Hit myself a bit more than I meant to. I'll get my perfect parries per episode score up, damn it. Whether it tortures my audience or not. Okay. That's a tree man. No, crystals. My first reflect reflex was, was annihilation. Yeah, the, the way the arm came off and is crawling up the wall with the roots, it is fairly annihilation. Okay, so the side with okay, the side with the light is the side you can open. Got it. Red light means it's not open. Then you press it, and then it opens, and then it's open. That's it. That's that's the process. If they're gonna give me a shortcut that quickly, I can go ahead and, and accept being able to be here without having fought those three guys. Currency wise. Oh, but these guys are here. Bye bye. Ah, oh, big man.
Angry birds. He's still coming. Cat News issue eleven twenty four. There we go. <laughs> Press Y to switch display. It's a little unintuitive. You would think you would just click on it to use the item and look at it, but you have to press Y. A doesn't work. Uh, Mr. Mr. Venegni's ambition to make a jolly police mascot puppet for City All end ended in failure. His passion to make a trustworthy friend for the citizens and a strong officer who overpowers criminals was in the right place, but turned out to be excessive. The new police officer's puppet overcharged storage battery exceeded its capacity, causing chain explosions, malfunctions, and serious body damage. The city council recommended uh, disposing of the puppet on the grounds that it, its appearance intimidates visitors, but Mr. Van Igny and his taxpayers protested, halting the council's plan in its tracks. The puppet still lies abandoned beneath City Hall, and to this day, while the lawsuit is ongoing. The interesting thing is, even with the puppet, when the puppet is unattended, it performs a number of its mascot roles. It is especially popular with kids, and it even appears to react and respond to playing, to, to the playing of children. However, it has led to more slum children entering City Hall and causing inconvenience to its visitors. The city council is considering exhibiting the puppet only occasionally as a means to restrict entry. Will you be my friend? Everyone's gone. I'm all alone now. Someone just drew that here. Is that guy the puppet? He seems a bit upsetting. Won't you be my neighbor? Oh, he noticed me. Could have gone better. <laughs> Trying to get there though. What your garden? Oh, no. No survivors here. What do we do? Just give her that baby puppet. I mean, if it's a baby puppet, then I guess there's no harm in giving it to her, except for that it'll probably upset her. But I thought it was a real baby. I don't want to kill a baby. See if I can find my way back. Gonna get good at this game, this game, damn it. It's back across here. Where the donkey fight was. Might have been easier just to go back. Yeah, it's wild. There's a bit of the Sekiro system where they kind of expect you to parry every single attack sometimes and then build up the stagger meter and then you can do your big thing, but... I have trouble wrapping my mind around the idea of being able to execute that many parries. Okay, yeah, I def I, I should have just teleported to the other to the other teleporter. So I'm basically there right now anyway. Just trying to remember how to get there. I guess this will work. This is the butterfly room. So she was down here.
then up here. I guess she's going blind so she won't notice or something. You found her, guide one. I could sense her from miles away. Oh, my sweet Elena. Please let me hold her. There, there, my baby. I missed you so much. What do you think? Is my baby adorable? She's a cute baby. That's right, kind one. You granted me my only wish. My sweet Elena. We're going to be happy now. Thank you so much, kind one. Please accept my heartfelt gratitude. Play records. Records you obtain while playing the game can be played using a gramophone at the hotel. You can listen to music on the records to obtain humanity. Huh. Feel. Close your eyes. Dance the night away with me. Everything will be better. A song that quietly comforts the dark. Feel a voice to accompany you in the sadness of light. I don't think you can talk again. So earlier, I think the first time we lied, it said my gears were reacting or something. It's like I'm wondering if there's a morality system where you lying or not lying has an ultimate outcome in the game. Or changes your appearance or does something. But I'm not sure. Not sure what to expect there. Like... In Pinocchio's story, when he lies, his nose grows. That's the whole thing. They even nod to that with his nose growing in the loading screen on the bottom of the screen. The loading bar is a nose. Just a little line coming out of his face. Yeah, but having lied a few times now, I don't think his nose got any bigger. I don't think that's it. I don't think they're gonna have him comically have a growing nose. As funny as that might be. I guess let's see what it, getting humanity does? That's interesting because they're using the same term that's in Dark Souls, but it means something very different. Kind of. Maybe not, maybe not entirely, but... In Dark Souls you're becoming hollow, so you need humanity to... retain your humanity, literally, as somebody who already has it. He's a puppet, so he doesn't have humanity. But he's pursuing it, like data. Am I supposed to just listen to the whole thing? Playing in the corner.
Use that one outside of boss chambers. I'm sure it's just me being impatient, but I'm like, I don't want to just sit here for four minutes straight for that song to play out. We'll see if it, like, picks up where it leaves off when you come back. Or maybe just eventually I'll just be in town long enough for it to finish. I don't really feel like just specifically waiting around for the song to finish each time. We'll find out eventually what it means to get humanity, I guess. Yeah, ultimately, it looks like we're going to keep getting... being given situations in which to lie. That's where we're going with this. We were pretty much forced to lie to get into the motel. And this, this time the lie was more of an option. It was a kindness. I don't know what happens if you don't lie at the motel, but it sure seemed like I wasn't going to get in. But uh, I guess I'll never know now. I, I will probably know. Somebody probably already said on that video. <laughs> That's how this works.